In most grid examples, such as those earlier in my tutorials, we have these nested HTML elements and they become grid items when their parent is set to display grid. So what happens if you set something to display grid and it just contains some text or there is some text inside it that isn't wrapped in another container? So we've got this situation here. I've got a div with a class of grid and directly inside it we've got a string of text and then below that we've got another div with a class of font. So if we turn this into a grid, say display grid, now what actually is happening is both of these items will now become grid items and you can see this better if we define some tracks. So let's say grid template columns and we'll just create a couple of columns there. So you can see now how this text here has gone into the skinny column and this other text is here and so if we play around with these that text is just acting as a grid item just as if it was wrapped in an element. So the text is wrapped in what we call an anonymous item. It acts as if there's something around it making it a grid item. Uh, it's worth noting that white space won't become a grid item, just a string of text, so there needs to be something in there. And you'll see the same behaviour happening in Flexbox. Uh, if we add some markup here, so perhaps adding a span around one of those words, now this will become its own grid item. And so you can see now how that is appearing in the first cell, then we have the second cell, and finally we have the third cell. So we end up with three grid items this span, the rest of the text, and this div with a class of font. So if you do have some sort of free-floating text inside the parent wrapper, the thing that becomes the grid, then it is going to become a grid item. So you need to remember that as you're creating your grid layouts.